All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to slice up a website in a Photoshop. So we can prepare it for a website. So let's, uh, let's do that now. I'm just going to grab the slice tool, which is over here. And I should actually run through all of the layers that I've set up um, to help us with our slicing. Um, so you can note that I've just got this background section in its own little folder. Top it down there. Um, green background, just in its own page. Use this line here to cover up some of my artwork. Logo in its own little layer. And basically I've organized all of the things that are going to change into different folders. So if we toggle down this icon and uh, open up the folder, you'll see that I've got my navigation in there because I want it to change. When the user has clicked on a tab up the top here and goes to that certain page, then I want the green to change. You can see the text is changed here and if you had like an image or something that changed as well, then you probably want to have that in that folder as well. And there's my naming, different um, the different buttons at the top there. So I can go through and go to the next folder, and you can see same sort of thing in there. Change the color of my tab, and I've got some more text in there. So <clears throat> very quickly, uh, basically what we're going to looking to do is to export out this particular mock-up um, website into an actual uh, HTML page just using um, Photoshop's um, way of being able to export out HTML. So it's not perfect for web development but it's a good way of being able to make a bit of a, a mock-up. So uh, let's get into it and we'll do the home page first. So I'm just going to grab the slice tool which is over here Remembering that we've got two different tools, we've got our slicing tool and our slice select tool. We're going to be using both of these today. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a bit of a slice. Photoshop's quite good, it's already snapping to exactly where I want it to go, so that's good. Happy with that slice, and I'll draw another one underneath. Navigation bar there, like so. so looks pretty good to me. I'm going to zoom in now. Just Z on the keyboard, zoom in, and I'll cut up these slices for the buttons, like that. Just going in between them, holding down the space bar so that I can move my canvas. So I'm just going to quickly slice these up now. I'm just going in between the buttons so it's easy. Alright. Okay, now I'll just zoom out to 100%. Okay, so I've got my website nicely cut up. Let's go to our slice select tool. Double click on that. So we're, we're going to give this a URL name of home. So HTML. Um, so this is for the home page and it's the home button. Okay, I'm doing this naming convention um, so that I don't save over any of these um, buttons uh, as I start to export out more pages. It all makes sense in a minute. Okay, so now I've got all about. This is the home oops, the about button. Home page about button. I want this to be about dot html. Okay. This one is home which cabins. And I'll call it cabins. It's dot html. This one parks home. Page in the middle parks. Parks. Dot HTML. Okay. And this is from activities. Oops. This activities. 
activities these dot whoops <laughs> just want to call it activities there dot html there we go and last one contact us so home <coughs> dash contact us contact I think I'll just call it like that and we'll just call this one contact dot html okay so I'm going to click OK, go off and save this for web and devices. All right, so I'm going to go off and save it now. So I want to export it out as a home page. Okay, there we go. I can just get double click and check that they're correct. Yeah, this is the home. Home. Okay, I'm going through and, and check all my my slices there. I'm pretty sure they're okay. I'm going to click save and this is a test that I did earlier I'm just going to go to my desktop so that's where I'm going to drop it uh, I'm going to call it nature parks parks click create and I'll make this is the home dot html I won't choose all slices I'll just I'll, uh, I'll choose so user slices, which is the slices that I made. Um, depending on your your web layer and your website, you might want to choose all, or you might want to choose selected. Um, but for today, I'll do just my user slices. Can export that out. Save. Oh, Photoshop's gone and pumped that out for us. Okay, so that's the home one done. Go ahead and do the about page. So I'll click on that. And this one, all we need to do is just change this top button here to about this will make sure that when we save it out that our files aren't saved over so, about, about, about about okay I'm ready to save it out for web again save for web and devices same thing yes save this one is the about page about html save that user slices that's what I want this particular export it's just a space so I don't have to worry about that it's okay I can replace that all right so you get the idea I'll do one more and then I'll pause the video and actually uh, just do it myself. So, let's run cabins. HTML. Can okay, I go to the about page? Yep, and this is cabins. Mm. This one's cabins, cabins. cabins. So it's for the cabins navigation, cabins as well. Okay, last one. Cabins. Okay, it's pretty good. Looks like that's actually moved. I'll just do that again. About my slice moved, so I wanted to fix that up. Yeah, okay, good. File, save for web devices. Yes, that looks great. Save it, and I'll save it as cabins. Save, yes, we'll replace that spacer. Okay, let, let's actually just have a look at what we've created here. So in our Nature Parks folder, we've got our home page, we open this up in Safari, make it nice and big. We should be able to click on home. Yeah, hey, there we go. We've got our little home page that's working working locally. Great. Alright, so that's what you guys are potentially gonna achieve.